Hi guys, this is I'm Sark and today we are talking about Kaiser Wilhelm II and his aims in foreign policy before the start of World War I. So we know that Kaiser Wilhelm was the leader of Germany before World War I and he was all about, he wanted a war basically because he wanted to be in the international limelight. Now Kaiser Wilhelm II was a grandson of Queen Victoria, the nephew of King Edward the, um, the Seventh, and the cousin of George V. Now, these, this meant that he often visited England, and England was seen as a sort of ally to him. However, he uh, really inspired to have a navy like the British. Now, this is why he wanted to build his navy, and this was one of, uh, one of his aims in foreign policy. He also wanted to make he was wanted to make Germany the greatest nation in the world, and Weltpolitik was the um, the phrase that describes this. Now, Weltpolitik actually means world policy, and it's often used to describe Kaiser Wilhelm's desire to be a major player in the world's affairs. Um, another thing he was jealous of the British for was the fact that they had a very large empire. Now Germany didn't exactly have a very big empire, even though they were a big country with lots of soldiers and um, a, a, a bit a growing navy, not as big as the British, but it was growing. And um, as you as I'm, you may know about the dreadnoughts and everything about the the um, the naval race that both the countries had, but. What he really wanted was, um, he said to, he wanted some a place in the sun. Now he uh, he tended to upset countries by uh, saying that he wanted this, and this led to him supporting building of the German navy and challenging um, France and Morocco. Now you can find more about this in my Moroccan crisis uh, video, which is basically where he wanted to get Morocco. So he basically um, he he took all these men in to try and fight for France to get Morocco. Uh, a spoiler is that he wasn't actually successful with this, um, but this was a, one, of the re one of the things that he really wanted to do to make Germany the best country in the world, um, which was obviously, as I just said before, Weltpolitik. Now, if we just go through a few things that you need to know about Kaiser Wilhelm, was that he was born in 1859, um, however, he did actually have a disabled left arm, which was a disease, but he still joined the army in 1877. But in um, 1888, that is when he became Kaiser, the Emperor of Germany. Um, but in 1918, he actually fled to Holland before dying in 1941. Now, um, that's all we really have to know about Kaiser Wilhelm. But make sure you can you please subscribe to my channel, uh, watch my other videos, and please visit my website, the link's below. Thank you, and goodbye.